It feels good to get out of that fucking room. Pretty crowded here. Hello. I feel like all of fucking New York is here. There's nowhere else to really go. Can't dine in. I don't know how I feel about being so crowded in the woods. That's what you get for going to Cuomo Park. Dogs must be upset about the fucking lockdown. I need to do this more. Although I don't think I have very many 50 degree days left. Oh. Like the water's so still and calm. Masks on the trail. I think that takes away from the enjoyment of nature. I didn't even, I forgot my mask. <laughs> and I want to stop and get chicken wings on my way home, so I'm going to have to fucking pull my shirt up over my face. Old school and shit. You know, I remember when you couldn't get masks in the beginning. Well, oh well. God. I, I wish this was as cold as it got here. Because <laughs> I would do this way more often if it wasn't wintry. I can't believe it though. Like, you know, like global warming's the shit. I'm getting 50 degree days in December. The thick of winter really comes here in February and shit. So yeah, it's still important to not focus on politics every day. I know I have been lately, but I've been doing other things too, just not on camera, you know, is what it is. So I'm, I'm contemplating life today. What's good, what's bad, you know, it's hard to tell. So we go through this virtual world we're being forced into.
Hello. Hi. You know, I'm I'm I've been really focused on the learning aspect and training. I spent a lot of hours this week straight up doing tutorials, exercises, and practice in 3D. And not enough of this kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. Hello. So I need to work on that. I need to work on balance. And I need to improve on my minimalism a bit. I feel like I've strayed a little. You know, there's a lot of things in my life that don't bring value still. And the whole point of minimalism isn't to, like, live in a room and sit in the middle of the floor with a laptop and a dream. Um, it's not keeping extra shit in your life that doesn't bring you value. You know, got to have things that bring you value in your life. And I feel like I've strayed a little bit in terms of what brings me value. So I got to work on that. I got to clean up, declutter a little bit too. I think I'm getting cluttered in my little room. It started on the truck. I was getting cluttered on the truck. But it's going to take a while. I got a lot of stuff to sell off that I don't use enough. You know, I got like three fucking four MIDI controllers that I don't, I just don't use ever since I bought the big keyboard. So, I'm gonna work on that, you know? But, make time in your life for what's important. That's the point of minimalism, to reclaim your time. And I'm so glad that even in 2020, this mess, that I can step outside of it, you know, and enjoy life a little, despite Cuomo's horseshit. You know, that I'm a part-time trucker, full-time, you know, learner slash content creator, you know, artist, I guess you could call it. I don't know if I quite qualify for that yet. Yeah, but it is what it is. I notice I'm getting less self-conscious about fucking vlogging. Look at that. Yeah. There's a dog on the hill. <laughs> And it's hard to maintain focus out here, too. That's the other thing with these. You know, I'm constantly reminded of all the bad shit while I'm out here. And, you know, there's something that I need to work on. You know, I know I make content bitching about the shit. That's kind of my thing. But I don't need to let it consume my life, and neither should you. You know, it's easy to sink into the rabbit hole and, you know, immerse yourself in anxiety and depression, which is exactly what will happen if you let all of this consume you. You know, one of the keys to resisting this bullshit is to get out there and enjoy your life. That's what they don't want you to do that. They don't. And if you do that, that's the step to resistance. Part of resistance is living your life and taking control of your life in every possible way. You know, you don't have to march on the streets with a flag and a Trump sign going, hey, you know, fighting the fight. A lot of times they ignore that anyway.
You just gotta do your best. That's what I need to do anyway. And maybe it's a good thing that we're getting pushed out here into nature. I don't normally see this many motherfuckers, especially on a Friday. Granted, the weather's a factor. But we're being pushed away if you want freedom. You know, we're being pushed to stay in the house. But somebody lost their mask. Hello. I like how everybody's so friendly in 2020. Mask and sunglasses. Don't even acknowledge when you say hello. That's where we're headed, people. It is what it is, though. Can't change people if they want to buy into all of this shit. This hill's no joke. Especially since all of that sitting on my ass has kind of fucked my back up a little. And shit. Honestly, I, I can't wait till summer comes around again and spring and I'm still just part-time trucking and doing my content and working on my education. Because I'm going to hop in that fucking Prius and get out there and experience some of this shit, you know? What else is there to do, you know? Maybe part of the new normal is embracing nature and the great outdoors a hell of a lot more. Which I was already doing, by the way. But I feel like a lot more people are doing it now because they haven't taken it away yet. Maybe it's what they want. Maybe we, they want us to go all primitive and shit. Who knows? I don't know. Apparently we have aliens now. That ran on NBC. The Galactic Federation of fucking planets. It says we're not ready for them yet. Oh, I have no doubt there's life. I mean, could you look at all of this and think that we're the only ones? Just saying. I just don't know that that particular story is on the up and up. But it was surprising to see a UFO, what used to be considered tinfoil hat, is on NBC. For, you know, thank you guys for sending me that. I literally looked at that right before I came on my hike. I'm interested in that shit. You know, I'd like to think that our petty bullshit isn't the end-all be-all, you know? Wow, look at that. I love nature. So I guess that's kind of the point of today's vlog. Make efficient use of your time, if nothing else. As much as you can, reclaim your time. Don't give it away. Everything you spend your time on should have like a, a meaningful impact on your life.
Hello. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Kind of noticing another trend out here. People with masks, I say hi, I get no response. Literally, you just heard. She wasn't wearing a mask, said hi, and almost, almost had a conversation with me. You know, whereas I've had at least four motherfuckers not even acknowledge my existence. I try not to bother the runners who aren't wearing masks. But just saying, you know, I think the whole mask thing is having a deeper damaging impact on our society than previously estimated. We're downright hostile and untrusting of each other. Like, more so than usual, anyway. It's not good, people. It definitely sucks for the dating world. Glad I'm not part of that horse shit. Another thing I'm noticing out here is you got the people who walk with their mask around their chin, and then when you approach, they pull it up. A lot of that going on today. Which goes back to that whole afraid of each other thing I was talking about. Hello. Hey. But there's a new thing that just happened. These young college age girls, maybe younger than that, I can tell. Not wearing masks, mind you. As I approached, one of them, not both of them, one of them, did this. <laughs> Is that some, like, fucking Wonder Woman power invisible shield shit or something? <laughs> Oh, what is, what is our world coming to? That makes no sense. I mean, it's literally... What it, does, does this block the virus now? That we can get rid of masks? We can just walk around like this all fucking day when we're near people? <laughs> oh, our world is fucked. I gotta laugh at it at this point. If I don't laugh at it, I'm liable to fucking hang myself from one of these trees. <laughs> oh my god. So, a group of four women wearing face shields. And what were they talking about? Oh, well, she shouldn't have people over at her bonfire. Stay home if you're that afraid. I'm sorry. That face shield ain't gonna do jack shit. The air goes underneath it. That's how it works. Breathing and shit. I tried, I really did try to escape out here a little, but there's just too many people doing too many things to remind me of how fucked up we are. Oh well, I'll have to get in a little more out of the way and remote. That other place I've been going, there's just some people there, but they all appear to be like local neighborhood fuckers, there's nobody like journeying to go there. And not a, certainly not to the level of this park. So, there's that. I'll figure it out. It's part of the journey. That's what vlogs are about, telling the story. Squirrels aren't wearing masks. They must be Trump supporters. They're all gonna die, the squirrels. Think of it. No more eating into your attic in the winter. Hmm, to chair break or not to chair break? It's not the best view. <laughs> it's a big fucking... Well, I mean, why not put the bench over there? I, I think Cuomo fucked that up. So what lesson did I learn today on this little outing? I learned that I need to get out here more. But not necessarily here. <laughs> I need to get away from people a bit here and there 
which sucks because I'm a social creature. You know, by people I mean people that aren't my friends, like just the people where you know, I'm I'm not I'm done with them, <laughs> you know. You wanna hang out with me, you gotta not wear a mask. It just doesn't work for me. So I guess that means I'll be solo tripping a lot based on what I've seen here tonight. But I need to go out to like the Adirondacks where uh do I turn here? I think I turn here. I need to get out there where people are that you do encounter. They're generally carrying guns instead of masks. I feel safer there. So tired of this shit, I really am. But I'll, I will choose more wisely on my next outing and my next adventure. A little more out of the way. I guess the other thing I've learned today is I stare at the beauty that nature has. You know, I, I don't doubt COVID's real, by the way, for those of you who are bitching right now in the comments. It's more of a philosophy, and I think you'll find this with a lot of people resisting lockdowns, is the way I live my life, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. And I think that's the biggest source of the trouble right now. There's a lot of people that will fall to their knees and worship the people that are the elites, that are telling them what to do, rather than take a chance of having freedom that may kill us. I think that's what it boils down to. Do you want freedom or do you want safety? You know. Although, you know, it's really up to you. The choice is you. Yours. Oh, the fucking face shield brigade is behind me now. I might have to let them pass. Shit. But what the fuck do I know anyway? I'm not an expert at all on any. On any I, I suck at this, to be honest with you. I'm just an asshole. And I'll continue to be my asshole self. Can't take that away. Even if you throw me in prison. For wrong think. Or whatever the new crime is. You know, it is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments. How do you escape? You know, the other escape for me, obviously, is immersing myself in my learning. and Art and skills and, and of course, nature. Um, you know, some people do video games, some people just watch TV, although that's less of an escape, because a lot of that's fucked up right now. You know, put it in the comments. Help some people out that are watching this, trying to hold together their sanity. You know. And you gotta... There's, there's an other side of this. We'll, we'll come out on the other sides eventually. And we're just going to have to probably adapt to things. There's no stopping it, really. You know, the only way to stop it, apparently, is, gonna, <laughs> is in a road that I personally want to go down in my lifetime. You know, especially since I've lived the majority of my life. The kids are the ones that should be upset and I guess you should fight for your kids that are out there but Hello. 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 
but I don't know. Like I say, I still think living your life as best as possible might be the, you know, path of least resistance. Given all that I talked about on the podcast, please, if you haven't already, I got it posted today. Um, if you were on my email list, you've already got the audio version that's exclusive. Sign up for my free email list if you want audio versions of the podcast so you can listen to them while you're running around in the woods with a face shield and a mask on. And, you know, the more of you go over there, the less worried I have to be about censorship. For now. Um... And the video replay is on Odyssey, of course. So go check that out. If you like this video and you want me to do more videos, like and subscribe and shit, and I'll make more shit. If you value what I do and you think that you can and you're able to, please head to scottthetruckdriver.com and leave a tip in the virtual tip jar. Tips are greatly appreciated right now. Um, so, thank you for those of you who do continue to support me, no matter how controversial or fucked up or how much of a dick I am. So, thanks. Follow me on DLive if you want to participate in my live stream shenanigans, because I'm actually becoming quite comfortable there. And that's what it's about. When I live stream on YouTube, not only are they taking 30% and fucking my channel in the process, um... I feel like I'm always policing myself. I'm always worried. Whereas when I stream on DLive, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, I just do my thing. And I don't even think about other than, you know, I, you know, I get a little worried that maybe that platform might have a censorship thing, but they haven't come at me. And I know they've watched, I've, they've talked to me. So check out DLive for live streaming. If you dislike censorship, that is. Well, that's it for this video. And have a nice fucking day and shit. I'm gonna, I got another mile to go. Yeah, I should have known better when I saw a sign when I came in and it had Como's fucking name on it. I'll have to pick my nature trips a little bit better. Ah!